there is really true redemptive power in having going through a court case and having either a judge or a jury validate what they went through and say yes someone did abuse you yes someone did exploit you to be a great victim's advocate or to be a great attorney for a survivor it truly means to get them justice right like this is what we're looking for is justice for this person so that they can move forward with their life. And then also so key to our trainings is our training consultant Finis Lapenga who really can speak firsthand having experienced a civil case what the tr what a truly trauma informed survivor informed representation should look like. When you have survivor inclusion in these trainings then you actually start to see the trainees perk up and they listen. No one ever really asked me how do you identify? Do you want me to call you a victim? Which no one probably does. Do you want me to call you a survivor? Um, or do you want me to call you Jose? When we first met with our clients, um, some of them didn't really quite realize that the treatment they were subjected to amounted to abuse. And I think it was important for them to be able to tell their stories not only to us, the lawyers, but also to the company in England. With the litigation, some of these women have become much more engaged as it progressed, and it's been really, really wonderful to see this, um, how like progressively they've become more empowered. And I think they were really glad that their voices were being heard and that they were taken seriously. The legal process is a long process. And even in my own trial it took six years and there are still pieces that are continuing but i have to tell you like there's a number of people that think that once the trial is over or once the civil suit is over or whatever it is and you got that piece of paper that says you're you're a winner baby you think that it's all done but that survivor sitting at home wondering, what am I supposed to do next? What, what happens after this? There really are true challenges for survivors even after the case is closed. Uh, and that's why it's so important that we continue to fight to collect these judgments, to um, secure back wages and compensation for survivors so that they can really start to rebuild their lives and have the financial means with which to do that. One thing I say, if you want to be a strong advocate, to survivors, it is to really just see them as a human, as a human being, and work with them like they're human. Don't work with them like they're a victim or a survivor. Talk to them like a human being and treat them like one. When we were um, going with a survivor to meet her pro bono attorneys for the first time. And in that, on that day, uh, we're going into this big, beautiful law firm, marble everywhere. It's a very, you know, just amazing building. And uh, the client goes in and she looks around and she says, oh, are these, are these my lawyers? Is this where they work? And you know, she was told, yes, yes, these will be your lawyers. We'll be representing you in your case against your, your, your trafficker. And the survivor said, oh, well, I finally feel like powerful people are on my side. 